Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in opposition to this bill. I, I appreciate my friend from the third. We have had many interesting conversations about this. I always appreciate the conversations that he and I have around health care policy. This bill takes us in the wrong direction on health care policy. If the issue is, if the problem is confusion in the market, the answer cannot be the government will limit the options available to the consumer. If the problem is a lack of information or understanding about how to select the correct plan, the answer cannot be fewer choices of plans to select from. The answer, Mr. Speaker, is, as my friend from the Ninth said, educate, inform. There is an entire market of insurance providers, of brokers, who can help walk people through the process of selecting the correct insurance. Is the exchange making those referrals? Is the consumer being made aware that that is an option for them? Are we tracking that? Mr. Speaker, let's look at it from a philosophy of government standpoint. As we face challenges in our community, as people are looking to make the right choices in their lives, it is improper in my mind to say we, the government, will limit the number of options that you have to select from. How are we improving health care, Mr. Speaker? When there are people out there who select non-standard plans, there is a reason that these plans exist. Are we asking that question? And as a consumer is in the market making that decision, the question they should be asking themselves, Mr. Speaker, is not why are there so many options. The question they should be asking is, might I be someone for whom one of these options is the best choice? For this policy to go forward means that the consumer is being protected from themselves rather than being given the tools to make the most informed choices for, themse for themselves and their families. For that reason, I urge a no vote on this bill.